Hello there, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Light server with me, Trianus. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're well and good and almost ready for the Christmas break, which I am looking forward to. Uh, just in case if you didn't catch it in my Aftershock video yesterday, because I know that video, those videos aren't very popular. Uh, but I'm still continuing on with them, uh, just for the sake of getting that building done. Um, but uh, on there, I made a quick announcement that on uh, from this Friday, which is something like the 23rd, up to something like the 2nd of January, uh, I'll be having like a bit of a, a week-long break, so there won't be any uploads or videos from uh, this Friday onwards uh just so i can relax and enjoy christmas and i can do whatever i want without having to bother recording or uploading or anything like that um i may do some work off camera with a lot of my episodes but we'll see how far we get and what i decide to do during that break so <laughs> yeah uh there will obviously be the rest of the videos this week but uh, yeah we'll see how far we get uh, now you may be wondering about the hat on my head um this is not an add-on to my skin uh i think it's something that mojang may have done and added it to everyone's skin i'm not sure uh, because you can see my normal snowman hat there but uh, it seems to have gone a little bit uh pointed i don't know if it's starting to get a bit erect i don't know why <laughs> yeah and <laughs> mind <laughs> uh yeah uh but yeah i've been a, a little bit busy now in the last episode of this i said i'd be going around making a new sword and trying to find a enderman head making one of the cleavers and things like that uh but i haven't really had a right lot of time uh with christmas and a few health issues and having to go back and forth to doctors and things like that at the moment um which i may update you on in a later video i don't know um but um instead uh because i said i was going to get an enderman head and make a cleaver and stuff like that uh but instead i want to do something a little bit different i've decided that i want to do something a little bit different uh so i went back into the nether and got myself a, a drop of evil instead uh so what i'm going to do uh, i've already started construction over here as you can see i'm just waiting for the grass to actually spread because i believe that you need to put drop of evil on grass i don't think it will actually work on dirt uh i could be wrong there if you know better feel free to let me know in the comments below uh but uh yeah i think it only works on grass so uh what that drop of evil does as well as you can combine it with lassos to make the cursed lassos to capture mobs uh, uh hostile mobs that is uh you can actually put it on grass and that will turn it into a uh, good old cursed earth which will spread and spread and spread and form mobs throughout the day and night uh, so I made myself this little thing that's uh, too high because the stone underneath there so it doesn't spread onto this grass uh, and then I'm just building it up at least four high I may put another row on top of this and then we'll fill it in with uh, some sort of glass now I'm using stone uh, because uh, I have over one million stone yes <laughs> uh and uh, i thought i might as well just use that i'm getting there with the white plastic blocks 40,000 almost 40.5k of white blocks so we should be able to start building very very soon very probably even this week maybe i don't know i'll see how i feel and how long things take me to do um so yeah, I kind of want to get this kind of up and running. I might as well grab a couple more stacks of stone. And uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, I'm doing things a little bit differently to what I would normally do a mob grinder. Because uh, normally I would have mob grinders a little bit taller than this. And then have them... Um, come on. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my new mouse. As you can see, it likes to roll on its own. The uh, scroll wheel on it is so temperamental. 
Um, but yeah, um, like I say, normally I would have my mob grinders a lot high, higher and then they would fall off and then they would plummet on to something like uh, these these spikes from extra utilities or something like that which granted I haven't used these yet because they are extra utilities two ones I've only used extra utilities uh, ones in the past uh, they are they seem a little bit cheaper than what they used to be believe it or not because the spiked diamond spike ones um, I seem to remember them using magical wood and things like that uh, and same with uh, the golden spikes as well uh, but now you can make stone spikes and everything which is kind of cool and then the reducers the wooden spikes reduces health to half a heart but does not kill the item so you can manually kill mobs I still like that uh, very good for early game mob grinders uh, but yeah this time I kind of want to do things a little bit differently so I'm just making this I really should make myself a builder's wand especially with getting it onto the main build itself as well uh, and there's a number of options for the builder's wand but for this eh, very quickly and easily done ah stop it mouse thank you uh, can you see how quickly that just went all i did was get a quick flick and it goes absolutely mad where it stops no one really knows look at that my hand is not on the mouse. <laughs> oh, um, never mind. Fun at Christmas. All right, let's just do an F7, get some uh, light up on the top of the thing. Because even though I do want mobs spawning, I don't want them spawning on top of there. And I don't really want the mobs spawning in here just yet. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the glass that I wanted. It should be about done. So uh, I decided to try and make some of this thickened glass to see if it would work from extra utilities. I don't know if this is the same sort of stuff that we used to use before. Uh, not dark, dark. There we go. Because um, I'm trying to make this this dark glass, which is thickened glass and a uh, black dye. Um, and to make the thickened glass, you can use sandy glass, which is a sand and normal glass and then you cook it up to make that so um, yeah I don't know if this is the right stuff to use but we're gonna try uh, I've made 64 of them and I've also been out hunting squid so as you can see there we go uh, so we need that and that there and then we get 64 of this so let's just see if this is the right stuff if I'm wrong I'm wrong I'm just hoping uh, I've got enough of this and also you cannot pick it up if you make a mistake so that's good to know oh uh, yeah so so hopefully this should block any outside light so I should be able to have this mob grinder running as often as I would want it to be. Uh, and that's it. I am actually out, so I'm going to have to make some more. Uh, not surprising there, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I wondered what that noise was then. It's uh, the uh, horses. So let's grab some more of them. Because there's just glass. And sand. There we go. And this should be more than enough. Right, so while we're waiting for that to cook, we can hopefully put that away, recook that, so we should be good. Okay, so um, to grind and kill the mobs, I'm thinking about using something completely different, like I say, because uh, I was looking through the mob grinders, uh, mob grind and uh, the Draconic Evolution one came up. Again, something I've never used, so why not? Um, so 
So we need the draconium ingots. I have got a little bit prepared for this, as you can see. Uh, we need some diamonds. Uh, four diamonds. Uh, five diamonds, even. A little bit of expensive grinder, but hopefully it will do what I want it to do. Uh, we need a furnace for iron. Uh, for iron, I think we need about four gold as well for this. If I remember rightly, for this draconium core. Um, yeah, I think that should be everything that we need. We just need a little bit of normal cobble, which we should have a little bit in here. So we can make a, a normal furnace. Why do I want my angel ring in the middle of that? I don't. Not unless you can have flying furnaces, then that would be an interesting mod, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> right then, so I need two iron swords, which means I need a couple of sticks, which I just happen to have in there. Uh, very random. Uh, two diamond swords and a one mob grinder. Awesome, right, so. Now I don't know which way this needs. Can I please fly? Uh, where's my angel ring? Where did my angel ring go? How did it end up in there? Ah, oh, never mind. So, uh, I think if I put this here, is that going to be the right way? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because um, I'm presuming the skull means death. I am guessing. Um, right, let's grab some power for this thing anyway uh let's come here come on there we go let me just grab a wind turbine so i think i'm all right for power without having to mess around with this uh basic cable and we shall destroy you and you i may tidy this up later with um and IO power cables but for now this should do us uh put you there excellent right so that's doing that that's getting energy okay so this this see this side does that as well so if i stand in front of this that doesn't do anything if i hover next to this no, that's not going to do anything either. Okay, um, I want to test if I've got this the right way around. So let me, if I can find them. Um, where did I put it? Uh, I can't find them. Where's my lassos? I'm looking for my golden lasso. Uh, is it in here? There we go. Golden lasso. Now, unfortunately, I can't do normal mobs, but if I grab this cow as a test subject, hopefully it will kill normal passive mobs. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. All right, cool. Uh, and I just got an achievement for it as well. Right, so that is the right way around. Awesome. Uh, however, as you saw there, it did not pick up the items and or XP. Uh, so yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, vacuums. What do we have vacuum-wise? We have a vacuum chest from Ender.io, uh, which pulls nearby items. And then we've got this new vacuum... XP uh, pulls me by XP and orbs, which is what we need, and puts them in adjacent tanks. Conduits needs to be activated with liquid XP. So I need liquid XP to get XP. So that's what it's saying. Um, standing stone. Oh, yeah. Uh, is there anything in roots that can help us here? Might as well, because we've already got a little bit of that. Is there anything in this? Um, it'll be these guys. Accelerator, 
Entangler, uh, Grower, Healer, Igniter, Repulsor, Vacuum. That just drops I pulls items. Um, uses. Okay, that's just a decoration box. So no, there's nothing in. In that, okay. Um, is there anything else that we can try and use? Uh, experience or policy? I think you can only just put things in there. Um, can output liquid XP to adjacent tanks. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to make a this and then try and have some sort of system where it goes down, maybe. Right, anyway, let's have a look at what we need for these vacuums. Because we might as well just make both of these and then we'll go for from there a little bit. So, uh, we they both need pulsating ingots, which is two more diamonds. Uh, which is fine. Come on, thank you. And then I'm hoping I've got pulsating ingots. Nice. Okay. And they go there like that. They both needed that, didn't they? Oops, that's the wrong one. Right, this also needed an experience rod, which needs solarium and an energetic alloy, uh, which is gold, redstone, and glow stuff. So we've got. Gold, redstone, and glowstone should be in here. Good. Let's. Is it the crusher that I need to use on this? Um, that's one crusher. Uh, let's just go through recipes on that. It might be easier. Um, Let's see, slag mill, enrichment chamber. Okay, so it's the enrichment chamber. Just stick that in there and then we should be good to go. There's four, that'll do. And alloy mode and stick you in there. Cool. They shouldn't take too long to make. We can make the vacuum chest in the meantime. Uh, vacuum chest, which is just a normal chest. Excellent, and that's just normal iron. Good. I was wondering if that was going to be like a electrical steel or something on those sorts of lines. That's good. So there's the vacuum chest. Uh, do we have any solarium? By the way, we do. Good. We've got a couple of bits, and one of you. There and there, and that's that. And then one vacuum chest, okay. So, I don't think these require XP, but I'm gonna stick the vacuum chest there. Uh, in fact, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do that the opposite way around. Uh, because it's more the XP in this that I want than the things, so. Uh, that should do it. Should. <laughs> yeah. Shoulds are big words. Um, so we can use that for now. I don't think. Um, so I don't know what I need to actually pull this out of. Uh, I'm presume it's going to be a liquid. I'm not sure. Uh, let's try a tank. Any sort of tank will do for now. I'm not too fast. Uh, there's a quantum tank there, which might be a bit too much at the moment. Um, in fact, no, we'll leave the tank for now and we'll just try things out. 
Um, we may need a a quick chest just for the items. There we go. Uh, that can go there for now. And one, two, and down. Uh, extract, insert, and then that can get overflown. We overflowed. Uh, can we actually show the range on this? Uh, that it won't get anything from the back. Can we increase it a little bit more? No, we can't. Okay, so the back row is not going to get caught in this, unfortunately, but we should be okay. I wonder what goes there in this mob grinder. Uh, I wonder if you can put an enchanted book, like a looting or something in there. It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. Uh, but yeah, let's finish off the actual grinder and then we'll see if it works. Uh, where is my thickened glass? And then I need uh, the ink sacks. There we go, more than enough, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll just cover this over a little bit like so. Unfortunately, I didn't really leave myself a way to get in and out, but never mind. Uh, we might have to do something. Well, the vacuum chest is working anyway. <laughs> uh, Something on those sort of lines. Uh, let's grab that so I don't forget about it. Okay, uh, so get rid of these torches. So it should be nice and dark ish. Uh, I'm wondering if I can just put a simple trap door up there. Would that work? Uh, if I can remember how to make a trap door off the top of my head. Uh, probably not. One trap door, yeah, okay, that's fine. Should have enough with that. Okay. Just gonna try and see if this will work. Uh, put you there, you there. Does that help block the light out a little bit? Probably not, but never mind. Uh, Curse of Evil, or oh, whatever it's called. Uh, drop of evil. Might as well see if this will work. Right, uh, and we'll come on, right click. There we go. And that turns all that into that stuff. Uh, and then we'll see if we do actually get any mobs growing in there. Well, not growing, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's just do that instead. Um, is that going to work? Are we actually going to get any uh, mobs? Surprise nothing spawned yet. There's one. And that killed that. Fortunately, the items here are out of range. Uh, so I may need to make another vacuum chest and put it back here, I think. Um, but it's that that I need. But it is going to work. It's going to be a little bit slow. Because um, I don't know if light seems to be coming into it because it's still got the yellow bars um there's another one there's a little baby skeleton so the grind is working the grinder is working however the other things aren't quite right uh so i'm wondering if this would be better more up here then where it is uh, 
so if we get rid of you, get rid of you, put that there, and uh, try it from there instead. Would that be? That would be better, but unfortunately. Does also do that so, and this thing's not working, is it? Because uh, that's not picking up these XP balls, that's getting dragged towards me. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to do some fiddling and messing and uh sorting things out but the concept is kind of there um because i'm wondering if that should actually go on top of that block um that might need to come down one and we might need to make a painting machine and go from there and then I need to figure out this XP vacuum. But we will get there eventually. Obviously, if you've got any hints, tips, suggestions, comments, or you just want to say hi, feel free to put that down in the comment section below. And uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button. It would be very much appreciated. But regardless, uh, thank you very much for joining me. And if this is the last video that you see of mine, have yourself a very good Christmas. And I will see you in the new year. Bye.